Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 22 October 2021. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Deputy Editor for Features Nadine James showcases the Minerals Council, which says collaboration is the key to unlocking growth supporting infrastructure. There have been positive developments since the introduction of the Economic Reconstruction and Recovery Plan, where continued engagement between Minerals Council South Africa and government has resulted in cautious optimism for the mining industry. The engineering news features focus on embedded electricity solutions, where a renewable energy developer's development pipeline is increased to 9 gigawatts. Stainless steel, where SASDA supports the industry through the steel master plan. Personal protective equipment, where BMG extends its range for maintenance to Zambia. And COP26, where technologies play a powerful role in climate change efforts. The Mining Weekly features include a special focus on Minerals Council South Africa, where targeted assistance improves workplace vaccination success. And open cast mining, where illegal sand mines continue to profit. This week's business leader is Kalecho Chilwane, Senior Associate at Mercer. And as this week's cartoon shows, Mineral Resources and Energy Minister Gwede Mantashe is confusing investors by calling green financing for ESCOM a dangerous step that could collapse the economy. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time.